I'm just wondering, Tuesday night, when you realized Donald Trump was, was going to become the next president, what went through your, your mind? Of course, we were disappointed. We are disappointed. But our faith in the constitutional democracy of United States is affirmed that this process must continue. With that, our faith in the constitutional values of this country are affirmed. We are reminded again and again, all day today and yesterday, of the peaceful transition under the Constitution. And I remind Donald Trump and his surrogates that on the next page of the Constitution are written my rights are written rights of all citizens of this country, that they will not be intimidated, that they will not be harassed because of their religion, because of their faith. Of course, we were disappointed because of the results. But with that, as I mentioned, our faith is reaffirmed in the process of this country. Well, you know, with some of the, the protests that we've seen over the last two nights, some people are holding up signs saying, Donald Trump is not my president. Is, will Donald Trump be your president? Well, that needs to he is a still president-elect. And if he does not follow the Constitution which has made him president, how would I have my faith? He has been elected president, but he has to earn our respect. He has to earn the position of the presidency. That needs to be seen. These protests are indicative of how many people have been intimidated, how many people feel that their rights have not been fully guaranteed. And we appeal to the surrogates of Donald Trump and to him himself that he needs to take the first step to make sure that the concerns that are being addressed. I have just a few hours ago found out that Muslims are being intimidated by Donald Trump's supporters wearing the T-shirts, wearing the caps of Donald Trump. They're attacking Muslims, Muslim women snatching their headscarves in New York, in Louisiana, in Los Angeles. Mosques are being, uh, uh, being attacked by people throwing things, and that needs to stop. That does not hearten that the end of this process, the constitutional values and guarantees. On one hand, we are reminded peaceful transition. On other hand, we are simply left on the street, wandering. And these uh, protesters, they are protesting because of the fear, because of the concern, because of the intimidation.